The BBC rejected both Sir David Attenborough and David Bowie for jobs before they were famous, it has been revealed. 95-year-old broadcaster David, was turned down by the company back in 1952 as a radio producer. His application from almost 70 years ago, which was marked with a rejection stamp is due to be shown next week in an exhibition of 100 objects to mark the BBC's 100-year anniversary. But despite not getting a job in 1952, he did score himself one the following year. In his mid-twenties he got his first BBC job then worked his way up to be a controller of BBC Two in 1965 before moving on to support environmental causes through documentaries. Other items will also be on display at the exhibition which will include verdict from the BBC talent selection group criticizing the late David Bowie. The singer auditions to be on the radio playlist in 1965 but was soon rejected. He was only 18 years old at the time and was deemed by the BBC as amateur sounding with a not particularly exciting voice. At the time he performed a cover of Chim Chim Cherry from Mary Poppins with his lower third band. But despite this small setback, he went on to create 11 UK number one albums before passing away at the age of 69 back in 2016. A job application from Lord Reith, when he was aged 33 and one third as he applied to be the first managing director of the BBC in 1922 will also be one of the items put on display. This will be as well as his diary confession from the time when he admitted he knew nothing about broadcasting. A press cutting from the 1930s shows how the BBC were inundated by applications from all over the world when they announced they were employing their first ever female television announcer. The proposal letting for the iconic Desert Island Discs by Roy Plumley in the 1940s is involved. The idea went on to be a long-running aspect of the Radio 4 show. One of the later object is from the 1990s which is Colin Firth's iconic white shirt from Pride and Prejudice when he played Mr. Darcy. The items will be split between the 10 decades surrounding 5 overall themes. The themes are, technology that changed our lives programs that brought us together, iconic and British, a diverse and changing Britain and opening up a wider world. It was reported by The Telegraph that Robert Seater, the BBC's head of history said, the BBC is much more varied, rich, diverse and actually it is reflecting the story of all of us. It's that amplification of social history. We're all part of it. This is what we're trying to give back, looking at the BBC's story as Britain's story. The exhibition will be live on the BBC website on Monday 3rd January, which will include 100 objects to celebrate the 100 years of the company.